So some people bring llamas to the fair and livestock show. Good job, llama. Look, there's the second place llama. <laughs> this is a great arts and crafts building. I think we're in the photography and wow, it is just cram packed with great art. If you want wine tasting, Jim, I'm here. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> but that's just a regular restaurant. What fun. We've got some really interesting art. Look at this. Hulk. The girl with the, the cosmos camera. And this it's joke. just the silhouette. And then it makes a heart. Oh, how she's... Oh, I didn't realize that was her chin. Yeah. So it's her chin and she's got her hands up with the camera. It's making it cute. Pandas. These are great. We got a Pokemon. We got stuff way down here. Oh, wow. That's fancy. And one for my daughter. Anybody hungry? Look at these pumpkins. We got watermelon. Does it say how much it weighs? Does that say 491.5 pounds? Isn't that huge? Wow. Yeah. 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 Look at these old paintings. These are amazing. There you go. Stick it in the jar and you can taste of it. It's nice having your name on fresh. It's the best bath. Faithlin needs one of these in her bedroom to hang all of her artwork. Look at that, it's just chicken wire framed out. And then you just use clothes pins to hang them all up. Super cute. And she could do a whole big thing if she wanted to. But even just one panel would hold a whole bunch of artwork. Oh, what did you find over here? Oh! Oh, they're cotton plants. I don't know if you can see the cows walking down the street. There we go. Some standing around. So the bunnies have had a long drive and then a long stay and carriers while they were being judged. Stand on his feet, back feet. Look so, at <laughs> So we rigged up some of mom's chicken wire that she uses to do her gardening with and made some separate pens. These girls are used to being with each other. Hopefully they haven't been in separate parts of the carrier so long that they're gonna fight. But the rest of these rabbits have not been together. And then of course darkness is a boy and we definitely don't want <laughs> They're already nose to nose over here. Definitely don't want any fighting or breeding. So we've used their carriers to kind of make things secure. And the only reason I'm not letting them just hop all the way around the yard. Oh, we got a little remember me sister going on. There you go. Back off. You guys are good. Um, hop all around the yard is because really don't have time to chase them so we're gonna put them back up before dark because they're our neighborhood cats and I'm not gonna stay out here and watch them all night so they'll go back in their carriers after a little run you guys don't hop out now I'm, I'm gonna go eat I don't want to chase you all right have fun you look like you're enjoying yourselves be good no fighting no fighting. 
good girls. No fighting. No fighting. Hey, hey. No fighting. I went inside for a few minutes. And of course my big girls have pushed their end of the pen down, which also let the harlequin out. But darkness is still separated. He's in his own little world over there. I think we're okay. But these girls are having fun running around. Hi girls! What you doing? You're having fun running around? Not finding any holes under the fence, are ya? I see you over there. I see you over there. Hey girls. I wouldn't eat those plants though, okay? How about you go back over to where there aren't grandma's plants? No, don't eat those. Don't eat those. We don't like the ornamental plants. Go back the other way. Go on. There you go. Good girls. Good girls. I'm not going to run after you. You don't have to get ready to spring into action. You should. Let's go back over the other way. Hey, Winnie, Winnie. You can't have my sandwich. There you go. Just stay over there. You having fun? You girls were so good at the fair today. Yeah, you were so good. What you doing, Oath Keeper? You being a good girl? Hey. I'm fighting now. Good girls. That makes me happy. That makes me think that this whole colony. No, nope, don't go this way. Don't go this way. You can come see me. No, don't go this way. That's where Grandma's plants are. There you go. Just sniff around and go back. Yeah, hi. Hi. Good girl. My Harlequin and my Rex have never been together, so the fact that they're just hopping around the yard and went nose to nose and did not fight, that makes me extremely happy. That bodes well for our colony setup. So I fully expect some fighting, which is one reason I didn't plan to put my show rabbits out there really quickly, especially not if I was about to show them, which I was. Uh oh, don't jump in there with my Holland down there. I didn't want them to get out there and hurt each other so that they wouldn't be showable anymore. Are you coming back? Are you coming back, Caterpillar? Are you coming back? You guys deserve a little running. Okay, no fighting. Oh, good girls. Good girls plenty of room so they can get away from each other and they've never been out here so they can't have any territory picked out already. They're being really good about getting near each other. And I'm really watching darkness because if he gets out all chaos could break loose because he's gonna want to breed everybody. He's the only boy that we brought to the show. Are those some good leaves? All this fresh grass and your rabbits, so you pick up the de dead leaves. Silly, silly, silly rabbits. Silly, silly rabbits. <laughs> you guys are having so much fun. Having so much fun. Hi, Fort Kenai. Checking each other out. Not being aggressive. What social bunnies? What social bunnies? 
Oh, don't go to the flowers. You want to get in those flowers so bad. Don't get in the flowers. Don't get in the flowers. Whoops. Now you're going to let 14 I get in the flowers. No, don't get in the flowers. Don't get in the flowers. are fun to watch. You coming back to see me? Yes, oh, sweetie. Can I eat some grass? You have a good fun day today? Hmm. hmm. So my new champagne is being kind of territorial. I don't know if she's really aggressive or if she's just biting at the wire because she can. Stay out of there, 14 I. <laughs> you are so active. You are running. You're sneaking. You knock down the wire, and then the first thing you want to do is go back in there. Hey, sweetie. You coming back to get in? Hmm? Let dog scare you? Hmm. There's a wire there. You can't run through there now. Well, you can if I don't get over there. Oh. I wasn't quick enough. Okay, I think playtime's over. Yeah, I think playtime's over. I'll let you guys out one at a time in a little while. Let's see who I can catch. The darkness. And plasma. And white out. They're all being very good staying in their little pens, which are a little bit more stable than the big one I made for the other three. But rabbits are kind of silly and sometimes a little dumb. So I'm going to see if I can catch the other three without really having to do anything. So I've taken the wire and I've made use of the natural curve that it has and I've made a really big spiral and I'm betting that at least one of the rabbits We'll come down the fence line to explore and either come over to the fence on this side and follow it around or go along the edge 
say hello to Whiteout along her fence. Come along this way and then follow this fence. And what they'll do is they'll follow it around like a little maze until they discover that they can't go any farther. So we still got housekeeper over there. And then of course while my back was turned, Fort Kenai and Katapunin have sneaked over to the ornamental plants. So I'm going to go chase them out of there and they will likely just follow right along the fence line because rabbits are kind of that way and they may even come over on their own. They're not supposed to be in the ornamentals. No, don't sneak into the deeper ornamentals. I don't want to chase you around the rose bush. You're a good girl. Are you going to come right to me and just let me pick you up? Relish getting stabbed by those thorns. Come on back. Or come here. No, don't hide behind the bush. Oh, sweetheart. You're a good girl. Yes, you let me pet you. I appreciate that. I'm still not leaving these ornamentals. I'm not going to fit back here, so I'm just going to try and make a little noise. Try and make you be a rabbit. You are really determined to get back there. And there goes Kenai. She's headed right toward my trap. I can use not over there yet. could have grabbed her, but I don't want to scare her. I don't want her to think that every time I touch her, I'm going to pick her up. Because rabbits really don't like There she goes, right in my trap. You in there too, Catapunin? There you go, right in the hole. Right in the hole. She's a good girl. Hey. Okay. Well, since they're both in here, I'm just going to slide the wire over here and see if I can't gather these girls. Hmm. You trying to go around the back side? You're not falling for my trap, are you? You're not falling for my trap? There you are, my sweetheart. Hey girls, let's not fight. Whoops, hey! She's too big, she just knocked the fence right down. But you didn't. Let's calm down. Okay, I got it. She's like, leave me alone so I can eat. Are you going to catch yourself? Sweetheart. She's told still. You just ran right into my leg. Okay, I got Well, apparently, I didn't latch under the house all the way. An oath keeper has decided to sneak in there. So I'm going to have to be sneakier and wait for her to get curious enough to poke her head back out here. She'll just poke her head out. I'll pop the door closed. 
Come on out, darling. The last thing I want to do is chase her around into the house. Come on. Did you just lay down to take a nap? Are you tired? I want her to see freedom is in the yard and not under the house. Stand perfect. There you go. So honestly, I was in a hurry. And I just went on Amazon and I ordered some coop cups. I cannot recommend these particular ones for rabbits. First of all, they're pretty big, so they take up a good chunk of their space, especially if they're already big rabbits in these carriers. They take up quite a bit of space, so you don't really want to have one for food and one for water. And I make sure that I put one over to the side so that they can actually stick their face in their hole. And I put ice in here. Well, it's not even really short, but you know what ice looks like, so that's not hard. There. I, put, I put ice in there and then I put a little bit of water to keep their tongues from sticking to it. I just kind of rinsed it around. And what they'll do is they'll look on the ice until they're tired of it. And then they'll just flip the coop cup right up. These are not made with the nice clips or anything. They're just really open hooks. So to an extent they're good. But I think even if I hung them up higher, it's not going to help anything because the rabbit's just going to flip it up. And it looks like this one, the rabbit flipped it over on the way here and then just chewed on it because she was bored. So I don't recommend. These are happy hen treats. They've got a picture of a rooster on them. Perfectly good company for chickens, but not something I would recommend for your traveling rabbits. I would recommend something smaller and something that has some kind of a twist or a clip on the back and or something metal 